Hey folks, Chris Thoreau here from Seedleaf, and I'm just going to do a quick walk through our beta program for Seedleaf to give you a sense of how it works. I'm going to sign up here with a new name, just to use my regular email here. Oh, I can't do that actually. I actually already have multiple accounts, so I'm going to use this one, and I'm not going to tell you my password. All right, so I'm just going to put my name in here, and here you're going to choose whether you want to use metric or imperial systems. I'm going to use metric. Now, the basic idea of Seedleaf is, uh, in many ways, is a task generator based on customer orders, based on your products, which are based on crops. A little complicated, I know. Let's start with crops. Seedleaf comes preloaded with a bunch of crops. Uh, as well as its production data. And this is the data Seedleaf uses to generate tasks uh, based on your orders. Now, we don't have any products yet because we've just started, so I'm going to create a product and show you what that looks like. So you grow a crop and you sell a product. So that's the differentiation. And I'm just going to create a simple one here to start, sunflower, which is going to use, obviously, a sunflower crop. It is going to be cut. I'm going to have three sizes. I'm going to do small, which is 125 grams at $5. I'm going to add another size here. It's also going to be cut. It's going to be medium. At 225 grams for $8. And another cut one, which is going to be my large, 450 grams at $15. And I'm going to add one more size here, which is my live tray, which I'm also going to sell for $15. And just like that, I've got a product group of sunflower that has a small, medium, large, and tray size. And the tray just assumes whatever standard size tray you're using. So the other thing you can do is blended products. So I'm going to make one here called Spicy Mix. And the first crop in that one is also going to be sunflower. I'm going to make it a blend, and that's going to be 60% sunflower. And then my second crop here is going to be Triton Radish at 40%. And there we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to create a small, medium, and large size for these. Now you can do this however you want. This is just the general idea of what this looks like. So there's my medium at 225 at $8. And this is just all made up stuff generally. Obviously you will price things that make sense for you. This is 450 and this is 15. And because it's a blend, I can't actually have a tray size because I'm not growing a tray of sunflower and triton together. And we're not gonna get into that right now. So now I have these two products basically and multiple sizes for each of them. So now I need customers. Going to add a customer, Chris's Cafe, and here I'm just going to put in the customer type, which is a cafe, and I don't need this other information right now, so I'm just going to add. So right now I've got a customer. That's great. Let's add one more. Let's add Bob's Grocer, and obviously that is a grocer. That's all we need for now. There we go. So now we have crops, we have some products and we have some customers, now we can place some orders. Now orders are based on the idea of a set harvest date, which I highly recommend. So we're going to assume our set harvest dates are Fridays. I'm going to look into the future. So I'm going to set my first harvest date at September, August the 10th, and a weekly order. And now it automatically defaults to a December 31st end date, but you can cancel that if you know uh, if it's just a, uh, a short-term order, or if it's not repeating, it's just a one-time order and that's it. So you've got does not repeat weekly and bi-weekly. So Chris's Cafe is going to take the spicy mix. They're going to take a large size. The price auto fills there, though you can change it, and they're going to take two of those. Basically, they're going to take those every Friday, and that's it. That's all they're going to take. Now you can see that my orders are summarized here by the harvest date and the order total. Let's add another order. Let's add Bob's Grocer. We're going to choose that same date. And weekly, now bi-weekly means every two weeks, just in case you're unclear there. And we're going to leave that open as well. 
Now being a grocer, they're going to take uh, some sunflower, they're going to take our small, and they're going to take 15 of those, and they're also going to take our spicy mix. They're going to take those in small and also take 15 every week. Now we have two orders, September 10th here and, uh, and uh, so on every week. Now I can edit any one of these. Maybe Bob's grocer says, oh, you know, I know on the 24th we're going to need a little less, so let's just bump those down to 10. So we're going to save that. Seed Leaf is going to say, you want is it for this order or to send all the following orders? And we just want to change this one order. Simple as that. You might be familiar with that um, um, method from your Google Calendar. So there we go. Uh, we've got these orders at 150, 150, and here's the edited one at 100. Now, if I go here to an earlier order and change this one, it won't affect that other one we've changed because it's removed it from the standing order stream. So maybe a little more detail than you need there. So now that we've generated orders, what Seedleaf does is generate tasks. And this tells you what you need to sow in order to meet your uh, product needs through your crops. Now, our, our harvest date is uh, September 10th. So you know, we've only got eight day cycles on our crops, so there's no tasks yet. Ah, but when we hit September 2nd, it tells me I need to soak my sunflower and sow my sunflower on that day. And I have six trays to soak. So I'm soaking sunflower for both my sunflower crop and for that mix. The next day is when I'm sowing my radish. I don't soak that seed, so it skips that. And that's because radish has a, uh, um, um, a shorter growing cycle than sunflower. It's why we're sowing it on a different day. Now, as I go through here, oh, now we see uh, I'm going to uncover those both on the same day because this has a four day sunflower is a four day cover period. Radish has a three day cover period. And then as we move along, obviously on. Uh, so now as we get to the ninth, uh, which is Thursday, we're going to start sowing our next crop for our next orders. And then the 10th is our harvest day. So this summarizes what we're going to harvest and our yield, and it summarizes what we're going to package. So 15 spicy mixes, uh, 15 small sunflower, and two large spicy mixes, which corresponds with our orders. So very simple in that regard. We can go to reports to get a sense of what the sales look like for that, for a period or for a specific date. And we're just going to look at that one date, August 10, or September 10th. And there we go. We've got a summary of our customers, what kind of uh, customer type they are, their total sales plus the total sales of all our customers, and then our sales broken down by product there as well. So a lot of information in a single report. So that's an overview of how Seedleaf works for you. This is just the basic features that exist right now. You'll be able to do more advanced reports in the future as well as add your expenses. But uh, hopefully you can see that using this task generator and through our um, uh, breakdown of uh, orders for our harvest days, this is going to make your uh, packaging and uh, order management a lot easier. Now I want to take you to a more advanced page here so you can see what this might look like. So this is a, a demo I've got going. You can see I have multiple orders, all these orders for this Friday, August 27th date here. Again, we can go in here and take a look at these. We can see the quantities here. And the tasks here are much more um, dynamic because we have you know, two harvests a week. We have multiple crops with multiple um, uh, crop cycles. And so you can see here, you know, on the 24th, we're, we're uncovering some crops. On the 25th, we're soaking a crop. On the 26th, we're soaking and we're sowing. And then the 27th, which is our first harvest day, we're soaking crops, we're sowing crops, we're harvesting crops, and here's a summary of all the trays we're harvesting. And then here's a summary of all the products that we're packaging. Again, I can go to reports and I can look at that date if I want to see my sales. We're just doing the one day. And again, you can see it's broken down by customer with totals for each customer and totals for all, all the customers. And then everything broken down by all the different products we're offering. So very, very useful in that regard. So that's a quick overview of Seedleaf. 
Uh, hopefully you can see some value in this for helping uh, your crop and financial planning with your microgreens business. And look for more information uh, coming soon as we look forward to our release in late 2021.